We going to do some construction. No, no construction. Destruction. <laughs> Ay, cabrón. Let's go. No. Oh, you put it back? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, construction helmet. Hopefully, these are somewhat of a good quality. Uh, they weren't super cheap, so I'm, as I'm assuming uh, this is a good brand and people buy it. It's called Amstone. So let me know in the comments if you guys have bought this before, if you are in a construction business. I'm just interested uh, to know about that. 15 of them, different colors available. But well, you know the color, it means something, right? What? The white is a supervisor. Okay. I think the red is uh, the second ahead. <laughs> What's well, yellow, green, neon, green, and uh, what is that? Pink salmon color? <laughs> I'm gonna wear that at the construction zone. Well, something like that, <laughs> cabrón. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, let's get to shooting. Let's not waste time. We're gonna do the Glock 44. This is a 22 long rifle. Thanks to Gun Prime for sending it over. And these are the 2240 grain ones I'm gonna shoot. Take some shots. You ready, Just Betty? I'm ready. Ah, uh, malfunction. Didn't eject properly. Okay, that's cycled. Okay, there's one in there. Okay, let's go. Um, where should I, should I go side? I should go side, right? This is clear. So went through the first one. Came out from the back. Second one. Oh, there's the bullet. <laughs> right there. So it stopped on the second one. Didn't even come out of the first, second wall on the back. So three walls. Okay, next round. Okay, the next round is gonna be a 32 ACP. I actually put a couple ho uh, hollow points. The last one, it's a full metal jacket, but the first two is gonna be hollow point. I was just gonna paint uh, a point over there, paint. And we're gonna be using the Beretta to shoot the 32 ACP. Okay, a couple shots at the target. And this last one is a full metal jacket, so let's see what happens. That's very ready. I'm ready. Fire in a hole. We are clear on this. So went through the first one, out of the second one, out of, I mean, uh, out of the first one, four walls came out of the second one, third one in and out, stopped on the fourth one. I bet anything the bullet fell down here somewhere, which I cannot locate. Next, gonna be a Smith & Wesson m and shield, the EZ that just came out. I've been using this a lot, actually, I really like it only because of the easiness. The slide uh, racks really uh, gently, very smoothly. And also these little tabs for nine millimeter loading. <laughs> I keep doing this. <laughs> oh, where did it go? Oh, here. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a nine millimeter full metal jacket, three rounds, two on the target. And one in the helmet. I actually been recommending this pistol to a lot of people, even uh, people that are close to me, and uh, I'm liking it a lot so far. So, <laughs> went all the way in the back. Clear. I don't know what it was. Anyway, so obviously went through all of these. One, two, three. Mr. B saw yellow and he came. He thought this is his uh, boss. Mr. Give me a zoom on Mr. B, please. He's back in the action. He's lucky he didn't get shot being right there in the front. You got him? Yes. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, that's it. There's somewhat of a damage here on this top one. I don't know how it jumped, it skipped uh, this one and then went over here and hit this one. But it looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Seven, I would say six, seven of these would stop a nine millimeter. No sign of our bullet. Again? Whoa, the bullet's over there. Where? Over there, watch. Garrod, how are you seeing these? I can't see nothing. Oh, okay, I saw it. Okay, I'm coming, wait. Right there. Okay. You catch it? Yes. So there's our bullet. Is it warm? Uh, no, I would say it's uh, less than warm. Okay. It tastes good. good. Tastes good. So well, six, be, be, seven of these. <laughs> that's good because the colors. Yeah. Is, <laughs> <laughs> Ay, cabrón. 5.7 by 28. 
This is becoming one of my uh, favorite uh, rounds. I uh, started shooting it more often and uh, starting to like it even more than before. And here's the FN, we're gonna use the FN57 to shoot it with. Two rounds in there, one for decoration, nice, and then one from the front. But that was the casing, something came over here. This is clear. It looks like it stopped on this yellow one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this was the nine millimeter. So it stopped right around here. Four of these to stop a five, seven. No sign of the bullet. We're moving on to the next round. Should I flip them now? This next round is gonna be a 357 Magnum. I'm just put the nine millimeter next to it for comparison. And thanks to BFR Magnum Research for sending this over. It's a 357 revolver. Okay, two rounds in here. Jasper, give me a close up on this. This is how you load this one up. So you put one in there like that. And one here. You close this. This is a single shot. So we're gonna go. Ready, Jasper? I'm ready. I think I hit it, that's good. Another round here. Well, <laughs> I think we kind of know what happened. <laughs> Did it go all the way in the back? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Did, what, what happened? Did it go under? The, it hit the here, the bottom. Crawled from the bottom of this one. It just keeps, it's gonna keep curving this plastic. And then came back here. Let's just flip it maybe, because I can't tell. I think it just got pushed in the back. Next, I got a nice one sent to me by Gun Prime. Thanks to them for hooking it up with the Taurus Raging Hunter. This thing, it looks so cool. Look at that. I'm pointing it at the angle, not at the camera. So, just want to give you guys a close up on this. Look how mean it looks. It says 44 Magnum on the bottom. A beast shoots these big boys. Just better give me a close up here. There's a couple safeties on on this revolver. You have to push this forward and then this downward and then pop it open. This is the first time I'm seeing them like this. I don't know if it's a new thing people are doing or what, but that's how that works. One on the target. It's my first time shooting it. Let's see the recoil. Oh yeah, it kicks, but not that bad. Okay, that's better. You ready? I'm ready. Go closer. Fire in a hole. <laughs> no. Where'd it go? Here. Okay, this is clear, that's better. Went through all of these. Side. Going the bottom. It's curving off. It's not going all the way to the end. It's just pushing them over. Right? Yes. Do I just continue going forward? What do I do? Pop, 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 uh, what do we do? Let me bring out a rifle round. We're gonna do a 7.62 by 39. Just you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's see what happens. Fire in a hole. Clear. Went in right over here. That's the 44 Magnum and that's the AK round. Look how small it is. Let me see, let me see. One more time. Okay. AK. Okay. The 762 by 39 round and then the 44 Magnum. Here's the one in the second one. Out of the second one in both. Well, I guess it is tumbling. It's tumbling on the third one. Going in sideways. No, oh, I was wrong. Coming out sideways going in sideways coming up <laughs> look at you can see the shape of the bullet as it's coming out <laughs> this is funny oh it keeps going cool one two three four five this is the sixth one coming out 
seventh, eighth. It's amazing as it's tumbling, still going sideways, it's pushing through so many so far. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the ninth one. Still pushing through right over there, coming out sideways. Oh man, this is getting interesting. Tenth one came out of the uh, the tent the tenth one sideways. It's funny, it hasn't changed its course, like it's still going sideways. And it looks like might have hit this one, yeah. It came out from here and it hit the bottom part right over here. And at this point it stopped. I don't see the bullet anywhere, but it looks like it was losing a lot of its speed, so. Okay, one more round and that's it for the rifles and I think we can wrap this up. I think about uh, 10, 11 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 to 12 of these can stop at 7.62 by 39. One more round and then this should wrap it up. Car 98, Mauser, and we're gonna shoot the eight millimeter. And here's this action for you guys. Just very ready? I'm ready. Ein, zwei, drei, fire hole. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Interesting, look at this. It's going sideways too. On the fifth one. <laughs> look. Look at the size of the, uh, so they're both doing the same thing. They're tumbling in. This is the sixth one. And then here's your exit. Here's some other one. Went inside this one right there. If this was a hit, right over there in the corner. That's pretty, will you do me a big favor and grab that one over there? It came out from the back. Look at that. I don't know what was going on. But do we have a bullet here somewhere? Probably yes, but we're not gonna be able to find it. Okay, nada. Okay, that's a wrap for the video. I'm gonna guess a lucky number 13. 10 to 13 of them, or luck 13 is a bad number, right? No, it's is a, a lucky, lucky number or a bad number? Depends. Depends where you're from. Yes. Between 10 to 13 of these can probably stop the high caliber rounds, rifle rounds, and uh, six, seven of them for smaller rounds. Look how cool this looks. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yes. This could be maybe a thumbnail, I don't know. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.